As through the world we take our way, how oft times we hear praises sung of wealthy men. Of Prince. And Duke. And Peer. The poets tell us of their fame. They're lauded o'er the land, but you very seldom hear them sing of the honest working man. They praise the wealthy banker, the purse-proud millionaire. Their pockets have gold lining, so they're praised from everywhere. So let others sing the praises of those darlings o'er the land. Mine will be a nobler theme, the honest working man. So let monarchs prize their glittering crown and all their royal host. Let the lordlings brag on their blue blood. They have nothing else to boast. But what is all the rank compared to our hero, true and grand, when a fair nature's nobleman, the honest working man? His hands may be both rough and hard, his clothes and speech be plain, but you will find his manly heart be without spot or stain. And there are some whose clothes are fine, whose hands are soft and white, but the secret records of their lives could never bear the light. May heaven's choicest blessings fall upon that hero's head, who bravely toils throughout each day to earn his loved one's bread. You'll find no monarch who can show a record half so grand. God bless great labor's true born knight, the honest working man. So now of fortune's favored ones, henceforth let less be said, and more be spoken of the man who toils for daily bread. So God bless each hearty son of toil who labors in the land. Let us give three cheers. With right good cheer! For the honest working man. <laughs>